this is it. We call for a ring, man. Nothing else don't matter, man. But he's telling me today. That's what loyalty is. Loyalty is going to your heart and find out who you really are. Make sure you look at your teammate today and you come out and you get pure hell today. This team ain't ready for us. Let's prove that they ain't ready for us. Let me tell you something. If tomorrow wasn't promised, what would you give for today? Forget everything else. Forget everything else. Forget that there was any sunlight left. What would you spend today thinking about? Yourself or the man that's beside you? Or the man that you know you'll give everything in your heart for? So that team that think they're ready to see you, they think what they see on film, they ain't saw what film shows. Because every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature now than I was five minutes ago. So let's do what we do. And we got what we want. Man, you got what you want. You're playing for a championship. You're playing for championships in late November. Cole, you're playing for something, huh? You're playing to be great. We gonna stop here. This is where it begins at. This is where it begins. Listening to Tom Ford, 
frames match the song title Flyer than a condor Little niggas rhyme poor Papa D flows in your powder beating holes And I am who you trying for? I think not Push her, stay hot The coops got no roots Forever they stay dropped Nigga, I came I saw I conquered I'm born yeah. I came I saw I conquered I'm born yeah. Yo, we said get them So I got them all Normally, to break a Navy SEAL, you have to kill us. That's why we make it into our training. That's why we can call ourselves SEALs, because the only way you're going to break us is to kill us. When I came to, I was laid over the back side of this rock. I was upside down. My pants, med gear, kit, GPS, compass, all that stuff was gone. I had a harness on, had one magazine with 11 rounds in it. I went out there with 13 magazines of 30 rounds. I rolled over. I was paralyzed from the waist down. I started crawling, pull, using my elbow to start pulling myself through the dirt into the side of this ravine. Well, I got up, man, the sun was going down. And I just started, I started to crawl. Well, I was in bad shape. I was dying. I didn't know what to do. And I was laying in this tree, uh, looking at the moon and feeling sorry for myself. And I must have laid there. And I was thinking, my brother's a Navy SEAL too. I got a twin brother, he's a Navy SEAL. And I was thinking about him a lot and my teammates and, and everything that I'd, uh, all the training that I'd been through. And I, I laid there, I was like, you're being a bitch, get up, let's go. That's exactly what I said. What was I gonna do, lay down there and die? I wasn't gonna do that. I definitely wasn't gonna feel sorry for myself. And I kept thinking, I was like, all right, I'm still alive, man. I'm alive. I mean, they, they fought and died. I'm still alive. So the mission's still on. Let's go. So, I reached out and I grabbed a rock. And I reached out as far as I could and I drew a line in the dirt in front of me. I was like, I'm gonna crawl to that till my feet hit it. If I'm still alive, I'm gonna do it again. And that's what I did. I'd draw a line, crawl to it, my feet would hit it. I'd fall down a hill, I'd crawl up another hill, I'd draw another line. And I did that for seven miles. When it was an option, when I was out there and I was shot, I laying down there and somebody was like, well, why didn't you quit? Because that's not an option, all right? That's not what I am. You understand what I mean? So if I, I'm a Navy SEAL, I'm a gunfighter, I'm a, I'm a warfighter, and if I get shot and I can pick myself up, I'm gonna pick myself up to you, shoot me again and kill me. Basically, I'm not gonna stop, ever, period, until you take everything away from me. You strip it all away. That's the way we're trained. From the day you go into training, they take away everything that you are and that you ever were, and then they mold you back up to what they want you to be. You accept the fact that you're a, you're a football player. So why in the hell would something prevent you from doing that? and doing what you're supposed to be doing on the field. That wasn't my job. The Navy SEAL wasn't my job. That's what I am. If you're a damn football player and a good one, that's what you are. It's not what you do. And if you're a part of something to where you, your whole livelihood and everything you depends on another man, that's where that bond comes from. Everybody knows that a bond is forged in adversity, right? But rely on each, on each other, man. Love each other as a team. Ain't nobody out here that you ain't willing to sacrifice everything for. Every day, man, what do you got? You got some, you're gonna walk through me, man. You better bring some help. That's what you gotta think. 
because I got my boys right here. We're about to find out who's, who's what. That's where you got to be, man. Like, it's going to take everything you got to get to the end of this field. You better pray to God you put the work in, because I have. We get one opportunity in life. One chance in life. Whatever you're going to do to lay your foundation and to make whatever mark you're going to make, whatever legacy you're going to leave, leave your legacy.